Hey, I'm Darwin Cook. And I'm Amanda Connor. And we are at San Diego Comic Con. And you're not. <laughs> but yeah, if you've never been here, you got to see it to believe it. It's uh, it's gigantic. Yeah. And you know, uh, all of our friends are here. And uh, it's such a wonderful time of year because a lot of our projects get time to release for it. So you get to hook up with all your fans. Yeah. You, you know, you get to touch base with people you haven't seen for a year. And uh, yeah, you get to show them everything you've been killing yourself on for the mm -hmm. last 12 months. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, and, and for those of you guys that can't make it, it's okay because your feet don't hurt and your brain hasn't been turned into a raisin. And if you could smell this room, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what I'm working on right now is before Watchmen. I am writing and illustrating the Minuteman miniseries and I'm co-writing Silk Spectre with... With Amanda Connor. And uh, I'm co-writing and drawing with Darwin, uh, Silk Spectre before Watchmen. And we're having a ton of fun on it. I'm enjoying it. I don't know if it's painful for you. No, not at all. Okay. I don't have to draw it. It's painful for me, but I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> so we thought we'd film this just to give you a little taste. Yes, and uh, we are doing questions from the Twitterverse. <laughs> Incorporated, TM. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> this is from Capeless Crusade. Will Minutemen explore the history of Captain Metropolis in any depth? As the organizer of the team, he intrigues me. Well, I'm intrigued by him too. And actually, we do uh, take a good look at um, a lot of what, what it is that makes him who he is. As we know, uh, Nelson Gardner, Captain Metropolis, is a Marine, ex-Marine. Uh, but he, because of the time he, he was serving, there wasn't an actual war going on. It was right before the start of World War II, so I've decided he would have been stationed in China at the time Japan was trying to conquer China. Um, and there is a very uh, interesting vignette where we go back to that time uh, just to see a little bit about what's made him the man he is. So, yes, Capeless Crusade, I will do what I can to satisfy your intrigue. This is from Inverse Press, and uh, the question is, for Silk Spectre, did Amanda draw from a written script by Darwin? And how did the collaboration work? Um, Darwin has had the whole plot in mind. And uh, the first script I got was actually very much scripted. So I was going through that and um, we would talk to each other by phone. And if something needed to be tweaked a little bit, we would sort of move it around, tweak it. I, I, I came into it wanting all the input I could get from Amanda. So once we had a plot that we were settled on, uh, anything she could bring to it, I uh, was more than happy, and so, you know, Amanda would keep phoning up and saying, you know, this is pretty good, but wouldn't this be better? And she's always right, of course. So, uh, we keep it completely open. We know where we're going with the story. So it's very important that if there's an opportunity, you know, this is a big job. So it's not like, hey, that's not what we were going to do. It's, that's so much better, let's scrap that and, and go with it. And by the time we got to the end of the first issue, you know, Amanda's writing a lot more of the book now. And, uh, you know, by the time we got to issue two, she was just taking the plot and running with it. And now what I'm doing is, once Amanda's pulled it together the way she wants it, then I take a pass over it. And then I'll say, wouldn't it be good if we, this, if we did that? Let's put a preposition in here, make it a sentence. But uh, yeah, she's- Turns out we work really well together. That's what uh, we think anyway. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you guys think so. <laughs> this is from Avery Robinot. Honest to God, guys. How about Bill or Jimmy or... I think all the little ones are taken. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Who's my favorite Minuteman? It's uh, probably Silhouette. Well, it's, I know it's Silhouette. Uh, simply because when you take a, a, a group of characters like this, eight people, they had been very sketchily defined in Watchmen. Uh, most of them had very little s screen time in the book, so to speak. So you get an opportunity to develop a character like her. And as you're pulling all eight characters together, she just, 
you can't help but like some more than others or, or think that uh, maybe some of them are, are more admirable than others or more exciting than others. And, and for me, that's definitely Silhouette. And I think everyone will see she's, she's the comedian of the Minutemen story. It, it's her life and it's her death that catalyze everything uh, that, that happens in the story. I like Phantom. <laughs> He's pretty cool. That's the dog for you guys who haven't read the book yet. And Jarvis the butler, he's pretty cool. Keep coming back for more Con Away From Con coverage. Stay tuned to DCComics.com.